Hello everyone, I'm Natasha, and today I'm gonna to be talking about my favorite booktubers. Today's video in concept has been inspired by Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. This cute new contemporary book was just released back in March on the 27th, so it's out in stores now. You guys can get your hands on it. This video has also been kindly sponsored by Simon & Schuster. Thank you so much to them. What first caught my eye with this book is the darling cover. It's light pink with this gold, and I just, I love the outline of the, the, the two characters. We have Penny and we have, what's his face? Sam. <laughs> it's springtime here in California. Uh, I'm sorry for all the East Coasters who have been experiencing snowstorms, but it's 90 degrees outside right now and I'm wearing a bulky sweater. I have been yearning to read a cute new like YA contemporary because usually my jam is like the new adult books or like romance books or women's fiction. Reading a cute contemporary novel that, by the way, has been blurred by Rainbow Rowell is something that I haven't done in a really, really long time. It's really hard to see this little blurb up here, but it this is a blurb by Rainbow Rowell, whom I adore. Attachments is one of my favorite books of all time. Again, that's like a woman's fiction adult book, but you know, fangirls, cute. Smart and funny with characters so real and vulnerable. You want to send them care packages. I love this book. So Emergency Contact, the book, it's basically about these two characters, Sam and Penny, who kind of have like this awkward meeting and they're both out of high school. Penny's had like a kind of like a blase high school experience and like me. I, nothing really happened in high school with me. Everything kind of happened afterwards. She's heading to college, which is far away from her home in Austin, Texas. She meets this guy, Sam. They, like I said, they kind of like bump into each other really awkwardly and decide to keep in contact. They have this really cute texting conversation. There's like a whole blurb of a little bit of what they talk about on the back here. And my favorite thing about this is that he didn't text her, this little blurb, he didn't text her goodnight. And I've experienced this and I'm like, excuse me, you forgot to say goodnight to me. It just caught my eye because we've all experienced that. Like if you like somebody or even one of your best friends doesn't text you goodnight, you're like, hello, am I not that important in your life? That sleep is more important. This switches point of views between Sam and Penny. Sam is stuck figuratively, literally, financially. He has like $17 in his bank account and he's working and living in this cafe. And this is where they meet. They become their go-to person, their person, the person that they text all the time and they share their anxieties, their feelings, and they don't ever have to see each other. So it's just words. I used to hate these types of like books where all I would read is like the text conversation. I love them now. They're some of my favorite stories to read. The whole thing is not text conversations. It's it's like, you know, they're, it's all written, but they have text intermixed in between. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my emergency contacts on booktube. So basically this is a love letter to my friends here on the YouTube. Booktube has been there for me for like the last four or five years. And I have lots to say, and some of these YouTubers booktubers you all know but they're my friends they're all in my contacts in my phone they're the people that I go to all the time if I need help or if I need like a release or I want to watch like a funny video or get a book idea so let's jump into it let's see what I have to say and if, if someone is left out and you love them and I love them too I just wanted to make this a quick thorough list so first question, whose video do I watch to get a good laugh? There's so many for this question. I have to say, Miss Catty Tastic, Pat O'Keefe, my very good friend, has some of the most wittiest sarcastic comments and I'm just always like, <laughs> sometimes I can't even believe that comes out of her mouth because you know I'm used to all these people like in real life yes we all watch each other's videos but like everyone is their best selves on YouTube and it's such a privilege to have each and every one of them as friends. So when I get to see them do their thing on the videos, especially when Kat can make me laugh, I'm just like, oh, Kat. But Kat's amazing. She does it in, in vlogs too. Like I don't even realize it in real life and I go back and I edit like my vlogs and she has like the perfect comeback to everything or statement. I wish I had her suave and ease of saying funny things. I don't, I don't have that ability. 
Nope. Who do I go to for my next fantasy read? <sighs> you know, I have to say, Miss Peru's Project. Reagan, I love, I love this girl. She reads so, so, so much. I admire this woman. She has a knack for style. She has a full-time career. I don't understand how she reads so much. And she's so eloquent. Everything that she says, I'm just like, how? I've had the chance to film with Reagan so many times on the book chat show. You guys should go subscribe. I'm always like, can she be in this vid, in this, ep can she be in this episode with me guys, please? Just because she makes me sound smarter than I am. Reagan's channel has just a plethora of recommendations for fantasy novels. So if you're ever needing like a good fantasy novel, she is your girl. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Reagan's also my go-to for style because we both do like fashion on the side, like on her Instagram. And her Instagram is amazing because she's got that Instagram boyfriend. Who inspires my own videos. I have to say the OG Miss Christine Riccio from Pull Bananas Books. She was the first one to inspire me to create my booktube channel. I've talked about this a lot during panels. I've never really talked about like why I started a booktube channel but it was because of Christine. I was working for a fan site called Page to Premiere and I was doing a lot of like online blogging and article writing. I was already watching her videos and then an email came through and she asked to start writing for the website and I'm like yes I love this girl's videos. So I took on training her and we just kind of started a dialogue and a conversation. We met in 2013 at VidCon, kind of. We met in downtown Disney. I was throwing questions at her her the entire time and I'm like I think I want to start a booktube channel she's like yeah you should so Christine has always inspired me and she's always my go-to person she's the person who I talk to every day she's my best friend also I have to say Emma from Emma books always inspires me that girl has the busiest schedule ever yet her channel she's always making videos every week I don't get it but she inspires me also her makeup inspires me because she's just beautiful I love Emma and her eloquence of speaking so who is my go-to to bounce ideas off of. If you guys think about these questions about how booktubers relate to your life, like you don't obviously know them personally. You think about the own people in your life and you know if you want to start a booktube channel, there are so many people out there who can help you and who can encourage you. And so this person for me is Sasha Osborne. I'm just, she's just Sasha. She's not a book utopia to me, but that's her channel name. Also Christine, because they're both my best friends and I talk to them constantly all the time. Christine just happens to live closer and I can drive to her instead of take a six hour flight to Boston. But Sasha and I are always texting, always FaceTiming. She's like my cheerleader. She's like the girl you go to when you need some encouragement. She is literally the most selfless person when it comes to that. She doesn't need to always talk about herself. She's always so uplifting and all the things, you know, Sasha, she's just like an extrovert. She knows how to make you feel better. I can't do that. Like I can be a cheerleader, but I can't go to that magnitude that Sasha can. She's just one of the most special people in my life and I love her so much. We have so much in common. She was the person to like encourage me to talk about that never been kissed before video that I posted last year that went kind of viral. But she's always there and always when I need her. So is Christine. Again, the, the both. It's really hard. I can't choose. Don't make me choose. Which booktuber is my my romance reader friend. Now I have two of these. So first one is Heather from Bookables. Heather, I think in the beginning really encouraged me from her channel just to share more of like the adult romance books I was reading and she was the one who I just got so many recommendations from. Like if we just go back in her channel and watch all of her like wrap ups and stuff. She has so many great reads. She's always on top of like the next greatest, you know, women's fiction book. We actually buddy read Hating You, Dating You last year by Christina Lauren and so I've never done that before so that was really fun with Heather. And then my new friend Grace with a book in her face. Uh, she's local to me. She also loves romance so much. So she has a couple of really good videos on her channel that talk about romance books. When we talk about romance books, we're not always talking about like the Harlequin ones. You know, we're talking about like just books that the main focal point and the main plot point is romance. And that's not everyone's favorite thing. They always like something else on top of romance. But for me, I, I love the romance. I love the romance so much and I can read those books so fast. So that's why, that's why. If you like my romance videos, go check out those girls. So I had to add some Instagram ladies into this list because Bookstagram, I don't know 
how you do it. <laughs> Whose Instagram gives you life? Now, I actually would love to hear your suggestions for this down below. But I have to say my two friends, which is Carmen from Oh The Book Feels and my friend Kaden from A Thousand Books To Read. Now, Kaden does more like layouts. I can never wrap my head around because like I don't know how you do it. How... How do you get like fully on top of the picture? How do you have all those things? Where do you store all those things? Bookstagram, yeah. If I'm honest here, my bookstagrams don't get a lot of love unless I'm in them. <laughs> So I don't really know what that is, if that's like a bookstagram plus me. <laughs> Carmen, I think, was one of the first bookstagrammers I've ever followed. And she lived in LA for a long time, and so she's another really good friend. She's the one who kind of brought the idea up of like actually going on photo shoots so that you get a lot of pictures at once so you can share them like throughout the week or the month. That's how it works. You don't just take one picture on the go. You take a bunch and then you post throughout the month. Lots of tips and tricks from those girls and they just have beautiful photos. Whose channel do I go to to get relaxed? So I'm an avid watcher of ASMR, but this is not that, okay? There are some personalities on YouTube or the booktubes that you can just watch forever and ever and ever just because of the way that this person is and the way that they speak and the way that they edit their videos. And those two people for me is Jenna Claire K and Ariel Bissett. Both of these ladies have a way of talking and a way of expressing themselves that make me feel so relaxed. Ariel is just so good about getting her point across. Ariel has like this thing where she can talk to a person or a lens and it just, it feels like you're there with her. And Jenna just makes beautiful music and lots of just good discussion videos. Okay, <laughs> this is probably my favorite one. Who is my go-to person to talk fan fiction? <sighs> there are a couple people that I've been able to do this with, but the one person who we like, we connected on a weird level <laughs> of just like, what? You did this too? Was Hannah Azaring or A Clockwork Reader. <sighs> Hannah and I had like one night of just talking about Dramini, just all the ships and we read the same fan fictions and it was, I've never experienced something like that. Yeah, I had no idea that Hannah had read fan fiction and then we just had so many things in common. Hannah's just amazing. I love her to death. She's another one who I watch to get relaxed because her voice is so beautiful. She just needs to like voice an audiobook. Last, who are my spiritual friends that I need to talk to if I'm ever like just in that weird zone I need to come back to the ground or my, my faith-based friends? It's hard. If you guys believe in Jesus and your faith is super important to you, it is a must to have these friends to kind of just bring you down. My faith is like the number one important thing in my life. Marie and Graham and Jesse the Reader both are like my faith-based friends that if I need help or I need encouragement or I, I, I just need some guidance and they also keep me accountable too. We both know where we are at with our faith and so if we see something or if we hear something we know to talk to that person and be like hey what's up? It's just really nice to have friends in the community that believe in the same things that you do. It's so important to have that in real life. Yeah I guess those are my emergency contacts. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs>
by Mary H.K. Choi is out in stores now. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Really great spring, summer read. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm Tosh Shopless everywhere and on Twitter, but especially the Instagrams because that's where I update the most. I'm Natasha. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep calm and fangirl on. Bye! You better answer, Sasha. Hey. Hi. What's up? Uh, I'm just filming a video, so I need you to answer a question for me. Okay. <laughs> Am I your go-to person to bounce ideas off of? Oh, yeah. You always give me the best advice. Okay, that's all you need to know, because you're mine. Okay, wait, really? Okay, perfect. Wait, is this, this going to be on the video? Yeah, probably after the end screen. Like, Tasha, I don't know why. Like, I feel really, like, tipsy right now, but I'm not. What? Like, I just have some chicken. What, have you been drinking wine? No, I've been, I'm fine. Like, I just have water. Okay, it's probably because you didn't eat all day, and then you're just, like, food is going through okay. your body. It's like that feeling of after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm hmm I don't know. I, I, I need you in my life, Tasha, more often. I know I miss you. Oh, I miss okay, you. Okay, I love you. I love you, too. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. See?